Film studies is about audiovisual literacy. It teaches you how to dissect and understand moving images and sounds that impact you in certain ways, whether you realize it or not. I think a lot of people assume that it's just like, oh, you majored in movies, like you watched some movies. It is so much more than just watching movies, even though the watching movies part is a very enjoyable part of it. But it's, it's watching these movies and placing them in a very specific historical context and seeing how they are a reflection of their time. But then it's also a very rigorous dive into these formal techniques that are in the films. There's definitely that historical and um, critical aspect to it and a lot of theory involved. You hear theory and you're like, oh my God, theory. But no, it's so exciting. It was very galaxy brain. Like I would just be sitting there like my mouth would just be like open because I was just so like fascinated by everything that we were talking about and I remember we'd finish and I would like call my mom and I'd be like mom you'll never believe what we talked about in class today you have to watch this movie and she was like yeah yeah okay when I was like no you have to watch it and like I was, it just made me so excited it's so fun to be able to unpack a film like that and I wouldn't be able to do it if I didn't have those classes I wouldn't understand the art of filmmaking if I didn't have those classes. I mean, I fully credit everything in the concentration in the program to why I ultimately got in to a graduate school for a master's program. At least in my story, I've gone down the path of grad school. So when I think film and media studies, I think of its um, kind of pedagogical um, importance, right? Being able to teach other students what this is, like like learning the language of film so that you can understand it and analyze it. The relationship between film and neuroscience together, it helped me think about neuroscience in a completely different way. Film explores topics that are this abstract that we cannot have that definition in. It was so much more, it spoke to me a lot more, and it, it has a deeper level of understanding to it that I think a lot of uh, people in the sciences can understand. The discipline of film studies really started uh, with people who were interested in film but had training in other fields. And they found that film kind of presented problems that uh, but they couldn't solve using the kind of traditional methods that they had. Film studies is kind of really at its core an interdisciplinary kind of field. When I study film and media, I'm not just looking at film, but I'm also thinking of things like social media. I'm thinking of things like video games. Philosophy from uh, psychoanalysis, from um, gender and sexuality studies. You can look at it in many different ways. There's no necessarily correct answer. It's just where your interests lie. You can look at you know, visuals and aesthetics. You can look at history. It's really something that brings all of these sort of varied humanities fields together. We were always encouraged to relate film to different mediums. Like we were relating it to like other theorists or relating it to other films or research or current events. And I thought that that was really helpful just to be able to go into the world and just be able to make connections between different things. What's different about writing about film is there's so many things to pay attention to. Once you understand each puzzle piece, you can put it together in different ways to tell a different story. You could write about a film a hundred times and we get a hundred different ways of interpreting what's going on. Being able to write coherently about something that's difficult is such a great skill to have. The professors are really committed to your improvement as a writer and so when you're turning in papers it's not just about the content writing about the films but they really do their diligent work helping you grow as a writer. It actually pushed me and really developed my skills as a writer. I am ten times the writer I was when I started in that department. The film studies program really helped me build and grow as a writer and kind of helped me escape some of those shackles that academic writing and scientific writing in particular can put on you. That writing can be much more exciting, it can be much more personal, and um, it can have some life to it. It doesn't need to be depersonalized. We launched a, a journal called Aspect Journal of Film and Screen Media that publishes some of the most impressive writing that our undergraduate students do. We had so much interest in um, people writing about film, people thinking about film, and wanting to get involved outside of class that we were able to make this journal come to life. You know, you could submit critical essays from class about films that you're really passionate about. Um, and if you're not a film student, there's like an area for you to submit. Being able to come up with a publication that we're really proud of um, and to be able to do that with people that I 
like to call my friends, which is really, really rewarding. I mean, I really haven't had a single negative experience with the film studies program. To get this kind of like other more like niche interest where you can just talk about things that you love with people who are as interested in it as you, it feels like really, really special. You know, there's nobody I'd rather talk about films with than the professors at UNC and, and my other, uh, other classmates. I love all of those people and I love those professors and when I say love, I mean it. I feel a deep love for everybody who participated in film studies.